Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com and the topic of waves and sound and the title is decibel scale. Uh, decibels refer to how loud something is. So you see the scale here. We're going to talk about the decibel numbers here as well as the intensity numbers. Um, and you can see some ideas to get an idea of how loud it is. Okay. Um, so first of all, the decibel scale works on orders of magnitude. In other words, powers of 10. You'll notice here that as these get uh, 10, 10 to the first power, 10 to the second power, 10 to the third power, 10 to the fourth power, and so forth, that these are just changing by 10. So 10 to the seventh power is 70. 10 to the uh, 11th power is 110. You can see the 11 there. Um, in this concept builder, however, we're not talking about absolute intensity. We're going to compare one level to another. Okay. So for example, if the sound is a thousand times greater, that's 10 to the third power. If you're not super familiar with orders of magnitude, we basically just count the number of zeros here. There are three zeros, so it's 10 to the third. Okay, and if it's three times or 10 to the third times bigger, then it's 30 higher on the decibel scale. Um, if we have something that's a one ten thousandth the amount, that's 10 to the negative fourth. That means we're going to subtract 40. It's 40 lower on the decibel scale. Let's go through a couple sample problems here. Um, so if we clear the screen, we read our problem here, sound source A has a decibel rating of 20 decibels. Sound source B is 100 times more intense. Then we got to find B there. Okay, so 100. There are two zeros there, so that's 10 to the second power. We take 10 to the second, and we just put a zero after it. So it's going to be 20 times greater because it's more intense. That means we're going to add 20. So we take the 20 that we had plus 20. And so your final answer would be 40 decibels. Okay. Next one, we see that a sound source, uh, by the way, that's like your apprentice level. All of these are very similar. The master level is kind of in between these two. Uh, what the difference is, is just how big this number is. So here we've got 10 to the second. Here we've got 10 to the negative something a lot. We'll count it in a second. Uh, the, the numbers, the number of zeros will be in between these for the master level. All right, so we have a decibel rating of 120 decibels. That's like 10 to the 12th, so to speak. But 120 decibels, sound source B is one ten billionth, one one hundred billionth uh, smaller than the intensity of A. What is the decibel rating of B? Okay, so we take this number, one over one zero, one two, three four five, six seven eight, nine ten eleven. So that is ten to the negative 11th uh, power, 10 to the negative 11th power. Okay, so we take that negative, negative 11, we put negative 110, we just put a zero after the 11, then we take the 120, and this time you can see we are subtracting 110, so 120 minus 110, 10 decibels. Oops, I did my D backwards. Okay, so 10 decibels. And that's all you're going to do. Each time you just take the number, whatever it is, the, the uh, factor of how much bigger or smaller it is, turn it into an order of magnitude, negative 11th is the order of the magnitude. You add a zero to the end of that, negative 110. You take the decibel rating of source A, and you either add or subtract whatever sign you have here, and that gives you your final answer. And that tells you how much, how quiet or loud it is 
uh, compared to it. So 10 decibels is 1 100 billionth times quieter than 120 decibels. A lot quieter. All right, have fun puzzling out the decibel scale uh, on the concept builder. Uh, make sure you click that like and subscribe button. And um, if you can put your co any questions down in the comments below, I'd be more than happy to answer those. We'll see you the next time on the scientific adventures of Beardman.